welcome to my channel if you don't know me guys i am jolly g crafty okay and guys i have a an easy diy project fall is here so i'm getting ready guys i love fall um but i've been going a little bit crazy guys on the theme for this year okay um my by the way i love my mug i'm getting ready for fall guys love it um so i have this crazy theme it's um well not crazy but it's squirrels i am obsessed with squirrels believe me guys don't even ask me why but i'm obsessed with them so all um my decorations will be about my inspirations are squirrels i don't know so but this project that i have it is uh i'll be sublimating on wood so um it's gonna be for my coffee bar i'm gonna make a little wood sign for my coffee bar of course squirrels so just hop along and stay with me okay guys before we continue if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so guys thank you so much right there jolly g crafty okay okay um i love crafting guys so um i have very easy diys for you that you guys can follow along okay okay let me tell you guys what you're gonna need for this project you're gonna need a uh, wood wooden um what do you call template it is a 10 inch and again it's just gonna be a little design for my coffee bar so we're gonna need one any size guys but i'm gonna stay with this because this is what i have okay so 10 inches you're gonna need uh laminating pouches okay and uh i was gonna use acrylic paint i white white okay white acrylic paint i'm gonna use what i have guys here and of course a brush and since i'm gonna be sublimating i have the epson 2760 and i will be using the heat press as well so stay with me guys i'm gonna do this very fast okay so it's now dry and ready for the design but what i'm gonna do first guys i'm gonna um, create the design i'm gonna go to canva okay so we're here in canva i love this app guys you can do whatever you want i'm using i have the uh the paid version and i can do so many things with it but again this is not for selling this is just for me um so what i'm doing that's what i came up with guys go nuts for coffee what I'm going to do now, I'm going to download as a PNG, of course, transparent background. Print out the design, okay? So as you can see here, this is the downloaded design. When you open that, okay? Now you're going to go to tools. And then we got to remember, guys, that when we sublimate, we mirror the design okay so in this case <clears throat> we're gonna click there and there you go guys it is ready to print you go to file print okay guys now i'm about to print the design um this is a paper guys i forgot to mention that at the beginning of the things that you're going to need uh, when sublimating, uh, you need sublimation paper. Uh, this is the one I uh, always use for my projects. So it's printing. While we wait, guys, we're going to turn on the heat press. We're going to go to 3, 380. Okay, on the time I'm going to be laminating, so for the time I'm, I'm going to go 30 seconds. 
Okay, so we're gonna laminate first. So you're gonna get a laminating um, paper. And um, I'm just gonna cut a piece to cover this, okay? So I'm gonna cut it. And again, only the front goes, it's laminated. Only the front part. So I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna need a small piece there. Something like that. So we're gonna head over to the heat press and we're gonna um, do 380 for 30 seconds. And this again, this is just for the laminating film. We are ready. So again, we're laminating. Just make sure that it is well covered. We're going to cover this. And we are ready. Again, this is just dirty. Okay, this is what I have. Now I'm going to cut around. And cut around that, okay? What we're gonna do next we're gonna tape our design into the into the sign which is ready we're gonna of course using heat resistant tape okay please heat resistant tape so this is why we have to mirror design so because we're gonna face it down we're gonna tape it down like that and then we're going to heat it up for 60 seconds so let's tape it around Okay, now we are ready. The design is there. We're gonna again uh, go to our heat press and we're gonna do this for 60 seconds. Make sure you change the time there to 60 seconds. Okay, so it's ready. And here we go, 60 seconds. So it's ready. Be very careful there, guys. When removing it. Oh, it's beautiful. So I am very happy guys with the final result again these lines that you see that's because I have not cleaned up or maintained the printer um, but yes the color is beautiful um, I just want to make sure guys you see the difference I did one side this side with the laminating paper look at the colors and then I'm gonna show you guys the back without laminating paper you see the difference this is no laminating paper and this is with laminating paper i am in love so remember the laminating paper you um do that for 30 seconds um before you do the design okay if not if you don't do laminating guys this is what's gonna happen no laminating, laminating. Let's go. I just want to give a big shout out to Blanquita's Creations. She made these beautiful wreaths. Let me show you guys. Look at those colors. Look at that. And here you go, guys. Look at that. Beautiful, guys. That's door one. Door two. Look at that. And again, th these um, these are the colors that I'm gonna be using for my theme this year um, for fall. Look at that guy there. Beautiful wreaths. Again, Blanquita's creation. Go follow her. Um, like this creations, Etsy, Facebook.
Facebook, TikTok. Go nuts for coffee. And that's the final look, guys. It is very, very easy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.